What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as the D365 Geek, and today I'm talking about Microsoft Flow, I'm talking about date and time actions, and I'm talking about the Jet Future Time action. So the Jet Future Time action allows you to um, get a future date and time from an interval that you specify. So let's take a look at that. Now, in my Microsoft Flow here, uh, I've got a manual trigger and I've also got a current time action. I'm going to add a new step, go to built in, date and time, and get future time action. Now, again, you'll notice similarly, similarly to my other videos, we have the option for interval and we also have the option for time unit. What you will notice is that there is no base time. So this is not a an action like the add to time action where we are adding time onto a base interval. It's taking the time right now and then we're going to add on additional seconds, minutes, days, hours, or weeks, or months onto this. So let's take a look at it. So if I add in five hours, for instance, so this is going to take um, the current time at UTC, and then we're going to add on five hours onto it. We're going to try, we're going to try this out. Go to test. We're going to outperform the test. We're going to run the flow. Click done and here. So I want to show you this first. So this is the current time action and that's what um, Jet Future Time is, is going to run on. So we're not passing in the current time, it's literally just getting whatever the current time is and adding adding time onto that. So, um, so the current time is 14.04, the interval time is 5 hours, the uh, time unit is, is uh, the current interval is 5, the time unit is hours, and we can see it adds this on. So I'm not actually inputting the current time. Um, that is just another step that we've got in here. This action takes the current time and adds time to it. So the jet future time adds time to uh, the current time. So this is different from the add to time action where you add it on from a base value, which could be anything. This literally just gets the current time and adds it onto. So again, useful feature it's different from the uh, current time add, add to time feature um, that we that we looked at previously. So, what do you guys think? Uh, are you going to be using this in future? Let me know down below. As always, please like, subscribe, and share my videos. Ciao for now.